Violin Channel. This is Janet Horvath from my studio in St. Paul, Minnesota. I've been a professional cellist for many decades and I'm also the author of Playing Less Hurt, an Injury Prevention Guide for Musicians. Today I'd like to give you a few injury prevention tips. Specialists agree that if you only pay attention to what I call my five practice rules, you'll be in good, in a good position to avoid having an injury. The first most important thing is to warm up. And what do I mean by warming up? Most of us think that if we practice arpeggios, our fast scales, or technique building exercises like dunas on the violin, or cosman on the cello, or triple tonguing on the trumpet, that you're warming up. And that's a misnomer. What I mean is first, warming up away from the instrument. So do some stairs, uh, run in one place, jump around, get that blood going. Then at the instrument, warm up the bigger muscle groups first. So what I mean is not too high, not too slow, not too fast, and not too low. So right in the middle range of your instrument and start slowly warming up for 15-20 minutes. The second practice rule is to take breaks. Doctors now agree that with 10 minutes per hour of practice time, if you take a 10 minute break, you can go on for quite a while. Your muscles can recover. But very often, I look across the stage and I see people practicing and then they rest, playing and they rest, playing and they rest, basically never uncurling their arms and letting them hang. So if you take one bar or two bars when you have a moment to let your arms hang, that will help you take these little mini breaks as well. Set a timer if you have to. If you're in love with this Brahms Sonata that you're playing or symphony and you need to be reminded, do that to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. Also, don't get stuck on one passage. You use different muscles if you change your repertoire. That's a really important thing. The third practice tip is to vary your repertoire, as I just said. So make sure that you don't st stick with Strauss for two hours. You go from Mozart to Strauss to Sibelius to then something slow and easy. That way you won't tax the same muscles for the whole practice session. The fourth practice tip is to increase your practice load gradually. This is a really important one, almost as important as warming up. And very often what I find is that people will practice, say, one hour every other day and then an audition or a big performance is coming up and then they'll practice four hours every day. And that's a recipe for disaster. If you know you've got something coming up, start with a smaller amount of practicing and gradually increase it over time so that your body gets used to doing that. After vacation too, or injury, then you start with 10 minutes at a time because we forget how physically taxing it is to actually play our instruments. And the last practice rule is reduce your practice intensity before an audition or performance. Believe it or not, you learn just as well with your head, in your brain. You can study the music, you can give yourself positive reinforcement in your head, but don't tire yourself out and practice and practice and practice till the minute you step out on the stage because then you're too worn out to do it. So my five practice rules, remember them, and I hope that you never have an injury. Take care.